Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another video. I'm playing Elite Dangerous in VR again and I've had a couple of comments about people asking me how I go about navigating through the galaxy map in virtual reality. Um, so you know what, I'm going to show you. Now there's only, um, it was only like a million videos about this already, probably. I've checked out a couple of them already and the common theme that they all seem to follow is Forget the mouse and map um, a separate controller because the mouse doesn't do anything in this context. Um, so on a 2D screen, if you're, still, if you're playing it on a 2D screen like some kind of animal, then you are able to use the mouse to just directly click on stars and directly select systems and zoom in and out with it and stuff like that. But it doesn't work in VR because the mouse is kind of projected along this two-dimensional plane which sits in front of the three-dimensional space. Um, and recently what I have also noticed is that, <laughs> like it just happened there, um, you can see that the mouse is kind of following my, my headset now. The, the, there was an update last night, it was um, an update to 2.3, um, one of the sub-variants of 2.3, I can't remember exactly the number, but it seems to have busted this. So now the mouse won't even stay on the plane uh, where this menu um, inhabits. Which is really annoying because it wasn't much use before and now it is completely no use whatsoever. So there you go, it's kind of locked in and then it's snapped back off again. So I don't know what's going on there. It's knackered, get rid of it. Okay, okay. So what um, I do is I've actually mapped all of the galaxy control, uh, the galaxy maps and navigation controls to my joystick. So you can do this any way you want. You can use um, an Xbox controller or a Steam controller or you can get a family member to do it for you while you sit back and drink a beer through a straw and bark orders at them. It's up to you. I use the joystick because I kind of like to keep everything in one place. I don't want to have to reach for something else. Um, so all I've all I've done really is mapped the um, horizontal translation controls. That's going forwards and backwards and left and right. So I've just got those mapped to the uh, the the flight throttle. Um, on because I've got a HOTA set up, so I've got a throttle on one side and a joystick on the other. Um, so I can translate along this horizontal grid using that. So th uh, throttle up takes me forwards, throttle back takes me backwards, uh, thrust left takes me left, and thrust right takes me right. And I can go up and down, so I can translate up and down using the thrust up and thrust down buttons respectively. Um, and as you can see, I'm controlling this little kind of reticule with four arrows coming off of it which um, you can use to select specific stars so for for example 37 Ursi uh, Majoris I can just go ahead and jump into there so that's how you go about selecting a star and then I can use the the hat control on the joystick the thing that I usually use to assign power around the various ship systems um, I can use that to, to just do whatever operation I want to do on it, either select it, plot a route to it, bookmark it, look at system map, and all of that stuff. Um, so this can be obviously a little bit daunting, I suppose, if you're used to using the mouse, because the mouse is very direct, and with this you've got to, you kind of got to navigate your way to the thing you want. But the game kind of helps you a bit, as I said, it, it snaps you into the, um, as you get closer to it, it snaps you into it. Um, I've also got a pitch control setup, which is just on the joystick itself, which is the same thing I use to pitch the ship, and you can use that to um, better align yourself if need be. Um, so it's just a question of getting this grid in the right place, really. Um, as you can see, the stars have got these little tails coming off them, these sort of markers, and they will intersect the grid when the grid is in proximity to them, and it's that that you use to directly select your star. Um, so for example, if I can find one that's shown here that hasn't got, I think that's probably, so that s <laughs> Theno, if I, I can't pronounce half the stuff in this game, it's funny, so that one won't have, oh yes it does, okay, so if that was a little further up, let's try LHS 2637, and yeah, that's got it as well. If it was a little further up, it wouldn't have, there you go, so let's move the grid down to illustrate my point. Um, so LH, LHS 2637 doesn't have a mark on it now, so I can't select it anymore. But if I just translate up 
until I'm in proximity to it, then you can quite easily get hold of it. Um, as well as that, I can rotate around something that I've got selected, and I'm using the yaw control for that, so that's the when you twist the joystick left or right. Um, and that's fairly intuitive as well, it's all pretty cool. Um, so that's how you go about directly selecting stars, basically. Uh, it gets a little trickier when you want to go and do something a little further out. So, for example, let's go and look, look at this community goal that's way out there. So if I was to go and drive to it like this, it would take me ages. Um, so I've also got some zoom controls mapped, which um, I just mapped some other arbitrary buttons on my joystick. So the further you zoom out, the quicker that you can translate. But what I do find is, is the only problem with this setup is, is you can easily get confused as to actually how far away you are. So, for example, right there, I think, uh, yeah, ah, right, I'm bang on it now, right there, look. Unless you move away. Actually, I'm not too far away. Usually, I'm, I'm miles, miles away from it. I've overshot it or something like that. But it is a question of feeling your way around. So you can tilt the view up just to kind of get yourself in the general area. Zoom in a bit. As you can see, I'm sort of overshooting it now, so I have actually gone past it. Coming down. This is probably not a good example. I'm probably going to make a complete total mess of this. So it can be it can be a little bit frustrating sometimes just to find stuff. But then I wouldn't try. I wouldn't be selecting this uh, this star using this method. I'd probably type it in, or I'd be. Uh, looking for it in in the uh, the system filters or some, something like that. <laughs> I'm making a total pig zero of this. I've actually had to recently remap these controls so I'm not fully used to them yet. The reason why um, I've had to remap them is because I would usually use um, the, trans the, the hat control to, to translate and the um, and the uh, the mouse just to do all the selection, but because the mouse is totally knackered now, I can't do that. So anyway, here we are. We've we've got it. It's 22,000 Buzz Light years away, so I'm not going to bother going there. Uh, but you get my point. You get the uh, you get the point I'm trying to make. So it is possible to do it. It's actually quite easy once you get used to it, and once you're used to your control setup, which I, as I said, I'm not quite used to just yet. Um, yes. So what about all this stuff? Well. This just responds to the same controls you got set up for navigating through any other part of your ship, really. Um, so all the other AI, AI, AI panels that are sorry AI panel UI panels that are on your ship, um, you've usually got some controls set up to, to uh, um, go through the tabs and then equally go through the actual contents of those tabs. Um, so for me, that's just the uh, the secondary fire to go left and the and the, uh, the target ahead button to go right and then I just use the hat control to navigate through the, the actual tab thing itself. Um, and that, that sort of combination of controls means that you don't have to touch the mouse at all. Now there is another um, element to the galaxy map which you can't really avoid and that's searching. So if I wanted to search for something I'm afraid that does require the good old keyboard. So let's try and search for so if you're fairly proficient with touch typing, um, then you won't have a problem here. Uh, I actually work in software development, so I'm kind of used to it. But there's there's no shame in lifting your headset on the on top of your head and having a look at the keyboard. Um, but unfortunately, you can't really get away from that. I don't think, as I said, unless you get a family member to come in and do it for you, if you're really that sort of opulent. Uh, what's next? Uh, I guess the other way to navigate around would be to use bookmarks. So if you know where you're going, come come into the game and then you can just s set yourself up some bookmarks and fly through space at incredible speed and um, go where you need to go there. So for example, all these bookmarks I got set up were all stuff that I was using when I was in the process of raiding Ramtar's bank account. So these are all where ancient ruins are located as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, what else can I say about this? Not a lot really. I think that is all I want to cover really. So it's completely possible to use the Galaxy Map in VR. A little bit annoying at first, bit of a learning curve, but it's completely possible. Um, key point to take away is don't try and use the mouse, it won't work. Uh, let's go back a second. Let's have a look at System Map. 
System Act's pretty much the same thing, except your horizontal translation sort of turns into vertical translation. So where there before you'd push forwards to go forwards, this time around it takes you up. Left and right does the same thing. Uh, pull, pulling back on the throttle takes me down. Um, and of course we've still got the zoom, zoom out and zoom in, which I think might be backwards. I might invert these actually. Um, and same deal for selecting stuff. You just move your Let's go to this planet down here. You just move your reticle over it. Your reticule. You zoom on in. So f from back here, if I zoom back out again, so back here I can I can select this planet if I want. Uh, oops, that's the long button. But if I want to go in further and then find myself, so I can rotate the planet using the pitch controls or the yaw controls to go in the other direction, and the combination of the two will allow me to sort of go anywhere I want. So I can go up to oops, this place and select that and then go and look at some information about it. Hmm, yes, it's unfriendly. Probably because I've been blowing up all their ships. Um, and when you're done, you can press back. And I'll take you back here. So, um, fairly simple, fairly straightforward pretty much it really I don't think I've got any more to say about it I'll um, go into the options quickly and show you where the control mappings are done or even though it's fairly self-explanatory now this is where the mouse does still work <laughs> for some reason it works on this plane no problem so if we go to controls <coughs> galaxy map all right so there's the pitch axis so that's set to the um, the, the joysticks Y, so that would be you know the the back and forth, uh, the sort of pitch up and pitch down movement. Uh, the yaw does the rotation around the stars, or around whatever it is you've got selected. Should be a star. I don't think there's anything else in there to select. Um, I don't use those. I don't actually know what they do. Don't use them. Um, the translation. So this is the forwards. So that is on the throttle, on the z-axis, and the uh, the backward. Well, that's just the all these controls sort of map to that axis now. Um, and then translating left and right is on the u-axis, which is my uh, rocker switch on the back of the throttle for the thrusters. Um, and then up and down the the two joystick buttons, which are used to control the vertical thrusters, and then zooming in and out are just two other buttons, which are used. You can set a button here which will temporarily um, switch your horizontal translation to vertical translation. I guess that would be handy if you've got a limited number of controls on whatever it is you're using to control. Um, that's it really. I think that is all. So obviously you don't have to do this setup. People might be looking at this going, uh, that's weird dude. Um, whatever, it works for me. You do whatever works for you. As I said, the key point to take away here is don't try to use the mouse in VR, it doesn't work. Um, you have to you have to go about it in a slightly different way but it is completely usable it is not impossible and hopefully that will help answer whatever questions needed answering so thank you very much for joining me and i shall see you next time goodbye